Okay, so you love backpacking, but the person that you love most in life isn't so sure. You would do anything to convince them to go with you and not just go, but to fall in love with backpacking the way that you have. Is that too much to ask? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. Seven tips to get your spouse, friend, partner, or even kids to go backpacking and hopefully fall in love with it. Let's check it out. Okay, first things first. Whoever it is you want to go backpacking, they need to be open to the idea first. If you pressure them into doing something that they aren't open to exploring, you're only going to make them hate it. My wife, for instance, when she was younger, she loved the woods, but had never been backpacking and wasn't really sure she would like it. By the time we met, she had some fear about being deep in the wilderness, but she was open to trying it, and that made all the difference in the world. And that's the thing, everyone is different. We have a really good friend who on the surface you would think is a real outdoorsy type, but in reality, he hates it. His wife on their hand, she loves to camp and hike. And that's the thing about people, not everyone fits into a stereotype. And if your loved one isn't open to trying new things, you're going to get nowhere fast. But if they're open, just hesitant, that is the best place to start. Try and find out what makes them hesitant. Is it the fear of wild animals? Do they not like the thought of being that dirty? Are they concerned about the physical exertion? Have a conversation, being sure to validate their concerns and start from there. If you've been backpacking more than just a few times, you're probably comfortable with covering several miles in a day. But if you want a hesitant loved one to have a good time, don't try to go that far. I used to take groups of first time backpackers on three and four day trips. To make sure that everyone had a good time, I would limit the trip to about 12 to 15 miles total over the course of three to four days. That's not a lot of miles. And especially on the first day, I tried to only go three, maybe four miles at most. My goal with first time backpackers was a stop for the first night's camp and everyone's reaction to be, we're here already? Same thing with elevation. Don't try to climb up and over a steep pass. Pick something short and gradual and let them be surprised by how easy it is. Even if your loved one is physically active or athletic, even if they are telling you they can cover big miles, let them experience it with low miles first and then decide if they want to do bigger miles later. There's something about your first time with a heavy pack and climbing uphill at altitude. I've seen even athletic people struggle. Remember, it's not about whether or not they can do it. I believe that they can do it. It's about setting the right conditions so that they enjoy it and hopefully fall in love with it. It's real easy when planning a trip and looking at a map or reading a blog post to get set on a particular route or destination. I encourage you to have backup plans and if you start to worry that your loved one isn't enjoying themselves, don't be afraid to make camp early or stop and rest some more. When it comes to gear, you wanna strike a delicate balance between lightweight and comfortable. Don't put them on a thin, closed cell foam pad. Get a good thick and wide air mattress properly rated for the temps that you're gonna experience, as well as a properly rated sleeping bag or quilt. Help them have a nice, warm, comfortable night's sleep. But don't go so far as to weigh them down so much that it makes the hike difficult. Be sure to share the weight, and you might even consider taking more than your fair share so that they are not only comfortable at camp, but on the trail as well. But don't make them feel like they can't do it or that you think they're weak or anything like that. Just try to communicate that you want them to have the best time that they possibly can, and you're willing to carry a little bit extra weight to ensure that that happens. 
Speaking of being comfortable on trail, be sure to help them take care of their feet. It's too easy to ignore hot spots because you don't want to take the time to take off your boots and to check. I recommend that you treat at the first sign of a hot spot. Put some Luco tape or just a little bit of duct tape so that their boots or shoes are rubbing against the tape and not their skin. A surefire way to ruin a trip fast is with painful blisters. So be prepared with some blister treatment and prevention and stop at the first sign of a hot spot. One thing I highly recommend to put everyone at ease is the Zolio satellite communicator. Maybe your loved one is nervous about leaving the kids, or maybe they're concerned about work not being able to get a hold of them, or maybe they just want to know that if they get in trouble, you can call for help. Just the other day, my wife slipped on a wet rock through a water crossing. She hit her head pretty hard, and we were worried that we might need to call for help. As I was assessing the situation, I knew in the back of my mind that I could hit the SOS button on Zolio and someone would come and help us. Thankfully, my wife is okay, and we were able to hike out on our own. But if we couldn't, I know that Zolio has my back. Anytime I'm gonna be away from cell phone service, Zolio goes with me so that I can check in with home. In fact, I wanna give a big shout out to my mom who has our kids right now while we're on this hike. If you enjoy this channel, go ahead and drop a comment that just says, thanks mom, because it would be real hard to go on any of these trips without my mom being willing to watch the kids. I'm gonna message her right now and make sure that everything is okay. I also happen to be a Zolio ambassador, which means that you can get free activation when you use the code MYLIFEOUTDOORS. So check out Zolio to help put everyone's minds at ease. So those are just some of the things that I thought of to help loved ones feel more comfortable and hopefully fall in love with the outdoors. But I'm sure that there are more. So if you think of any, please comment below or check out what others have to say. Like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.